Hey folks, Dan here with Triad RV Parts. Today I want to do a little informational video on an item that's on about 90% if not more of all the modern campers that are made and, and produced today. And the reason why I feel there's a need for this particular video is because I've been amazed at how many people have campers that don't know how valuable and how neat this little item is. And what this item is, is this two-stage gas regulator that has this built-in automatic changeover. And before I explain how it works, let me tell you why it's so neat. Let's say you're sleeping in the middle of the night and it's a little cool and you got your furnace running. And so you got two bottles on the front of your camper and one of them's partially full, but you don't really know that. And so then all of a sudden, one of them runs out in the middle of the night and if it didn't have this changeover feature, then your furnace would go out and you would wake up in the middle of the night freezing cold. And so this automatic changeover just switches over from the empty bottle over to the full bottle. Now having established that that's a pretty neat feature, let's get right to how it works. Okay, so you see this little lever right here, okay? Now this thing is pointed in this direction and so it essentially is a feeding off this supply line. Now there's not a line hooked to it, but of course I'm just using this as a demonstration. Now if uh, this gas bottle were full or had enough in it to, uh, to be the primary source, then this little indicator right here would be green. Okay, just as soon as that thing gets empty and it switches over, I mean how would you know that it switched over except there, there's a little indicator and that thing turns red. Now when it turns red, it's feeding at about 80% capacity. In the middle of the night, when the furnace is the only thing it's feeding, and that's not a problem. But you might notice a little bit of a difference if the thing changed over and you were trying to do some cooking. You might think that the flame wasn't that high. So you go out, you check your bottle, and you see that this particular item right here has turned red. Then what you do is, you get this lever, you push it over that way and now that should turn green and you'll be feeding off the other side. Pretty neat, huh? Now the primary purpose for this thing is so that you won't run out of uh, a heat in the middle of the night, but it does have another neat little feature, okay? So that when you switch it over and you're feeding off this side and this bottle's empty, you can detach this bottle at the uh, supply line and get that bottle and take it to get uh, it refilled. Uh, which is a nice feature now if this thing's working properly which if it's you know relatively new if it's got some age on it it may not uh, but this also works as a check valve so essentially what will happen is when you disconnect it if you've got it faced over that way it will not uh, bleed your gas out so if you do smell gas then you essentially have a problem and this thing will need to be replaced the other thing that's uh, that's uh, worthy of noting is that this particular manufacturer has this particular knob. Some of them have a slide back and forth. Uh, there's quite a few of them on the market by a bunch of different manufacturers. Now while we're on the subject of gas, um, I'd like to tell you about a feature that we're going to put on our website at trvparts.net uh, forward slash gas and we're going to have a bunch of different pictures of all the different pieces and parts and components to do various things that you might want to do. Let's say you want to use your little small uh, gas grill, uh, but you don't want to bring in extra uh, gas tank or use those little small expensive little disposable uh, canisters. So essentially we have the pieces and the parts and the components that would allow you to hook it into your existing uh, gas line. And let's say you're living long term in a motorhome and every time you run out of gas you got to crank it up and take it somewhere to get it filled full of gas. And so with the right pieces parts, you can have an extra tank, have it attached right there close to your supply line. And then when it runs out, you can get that tank loaded up in your car and go and take it and get it filled. Now let's say you've got some kind of setup that you're wanting to get accomplished and you're not really quite sure how to do it. Well, if you would email me at dan at trvparts.com and let me know what it is you're trying to do, Hopefully I'll be able to put those components together for you and give you an idea of what it's going to take to get accomplished what you want to get accomplished. So once again, uh, our website to see these gas components is trvparts.net forward slash gas. Well, I'd like to thank you for taking time to watch our video. And if you've got any questions or comments, the same email address, dan at trvparts.com. And happy camping.